Hello all, welcome back. I had made one video on how to ask questions on Stack Overflow where I got request to make another video to explain how to search answers on Stack Overflow. Now finding answers is, is not that straightforward. It requires most of the time a lot of experience and you need to know certain keywords maybe and then it might help you to reach to your answers pretty quickly. Moreover, sometimes you search for a question in a wrong way using wrong keywords and fail to find an answer and finally post a question on Stack Overflow later to find out that it has been asked before and disclosed as duplicate. This takes up a lot of time and effort. In this video, I am going to provide you with some tips and tricks using which you can find out how to search answers on Stack Overflow. As explained earlier, finding answers comes automatically with experience. If you spend good amount of time on Stack Overflow, you'll know which keywords to look and which keywords to find to reach to a particular answer. So let's take an example. So this is most commonly asked question on Stack Overflow. Right, how to sum a variable by group. So category is the grouping variable. So what we need to do is just sum all this together sum the first values together 10 plus 15 plus 5 is 30 here and sum second values together which is 2 plus 3 which is 5 and sum the third values together 14 and 20 34 right so this is a basic question how to sum a variable by group but now different people ask this question in different ways so this is one of the way like some values in different rows sharing the same value in a column. So instead of using group here, the asker has used the word same value in a column. Now this might get confusing at times that what it means, but again, if you know the proper keywords, it will help you to find the right answers easily. This is another question in which the title is computing a sum for rows which contain the same elements. It still means the same where you want sum by group, but again, as mentioned, same questions, different interpretations, different wordings, so it might be sometimes get difficult. You can always do a Google search using relevant keywords. So for example, to reach to this answer, I always do some variable by group and Google properly sends me to this link always. Now this might be because of my search history and I have been doing this for quite some time hence Google knows what I want with this search query. I have not even specified if you look at my query I have not even specified which language I want this in but Google automatically brings me to the R language page. So for you this might not be the case you might need to say some variable by group in R and then it will reach apart from that you can also use the site tag here so if you cite and stackoverflow.com if you're looking answers only for stack overflow then you can add this tag and it will restrict your results only till only for stack overflow website so this might help you to narrow down your search Apart from this, you can always use search in Stack Overflow itself. This might not be as good as Google, but still, you if you know right tricks, then this might help you to get to your answer. So for example, you can search for a particular tag using the square brackets. So if you do, if you put R in square brackets and put any term, let's say, this will give you all the questions and answers tagged with R having the word C split in it, all of them. You can also add multiple tags. So now these are the results with two tags, say questions tagged with R and D plier having C split in it. Now you can also restrict your search to a particular user by using its user ID. So sometimes what happens with me is I know I have answered a particular, a similar kind of answer previously, but I don't know 
where it is so it's difficult for me to search right so you can restrict your search using a particular user id so for example this is my user id here so if you do this if you do let's say r and i don't need even r if i want to search c split answers answered by me yeah so these are all answers where i have used word c split so i got four results right so sometimes this might be helpful if you want to search an answer by particular user id this will return you questions as well as answers if you want to restrict getting only questions you might do this question so with this it gives you questions which have c split word in it and are tagged with r and d player you can do the same with answer so these are answers where questions are tagged with r and d player have c split word in it in answer there are multiple ways in which you can sort this by relevance or by votes or activity you can find more such tricks here on this page how you can search using stack overflow so these are some short tips which i thought will be helpful while finding answers on stack overflow let, let me know if this was useful for you or if you have any feedback or comments please mention it in the comment section i'll come up with another new video soon see you soon thank you for watching